Well, we are expected to evaluate and get the value for tan 22.5 degrees. So foremost, what I wish to do is I would like to take, let theta be equal to 22.5 degrees. I would like to multiply both sides by 2. So this is going to give me 2 theta and this is going to give me 45 degrees. Now in terms of radiance, I can write 45 degrees as pi over 4. So I got 2 theta is equal to pi over 4. Therefore, the value of theta is going to be pi over 8. So this is a good substitution for theta. Now we know a formula. What is that? Tan of 2 theta is equal to 2 times tan theta divided by 1 negative tan squared theta. Right? So how did I get that? Because we know that tan of A positive B is equal to tan A positive tan B divided by 1 negative tan A times tan B. So using this formula, in place of A and B, we substitute theta. So this is going to be tan of theta positive theta, right? That's going to be tan 2 theta. And uh, clearly you will have a tan theta here, tan theta here, and adding up these two would give me 2 tan theta divided by 1 negative tan theta times tan theta, which is tan squared theta with a negative sign. So having got that, what I wish to do is, I would like to substitute theta to be equal to pi over 8. Okay, so what happens here, this is going to be tan of 2 times pi over 8 is equal to 2 times tan pi over 8 divided by 1 negative tan squared of pi over 8. Now 2 divides here, 2 divides 8 4 times. So this is going to be tan pi over 4 is equal to 2 times tan pi over 8 over 1 negative tan squared pi over 8. This is 1. So we have 1 is equal to 2 times tan pi over 8 divided by 1 negative tan squared pi over 8. So you cross multiply. If you cross multiply, you would get this to be as 1 negative tan squared pi over 8. So I would like to rewrite this as 1 negative tan squared pi over 8 is equal to 2 times tan pi over 8. So moving everything to the left hand side, this would give me 1 negative tan squared pi over 8, negative 2 times tan pi over 8 is equal to 0. If I were to multiply by negative 1, this is going to be negative 1, positive tan squared pi over 8, positive 2 times tan pi over 8 is equal to 0. If I were to rewrite this, this is going to be tan squared pi over 8, positive 2 times tan pi over 8, negative 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic in tan. So if I were to take a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 and c is equal to negative 1, we would have negative 2 plus or minus root of 2 squared negative 4 times a times c times 2 times a which is negative 2 plus or minus root of 2 squared is 4, negative, negative, positive 4 divided by 2, which is equal to negative 2 plus or minus root of 8 divided by 2, negative 2 plus or minus 8, I'm going to write it as 4 times 2 divided by 2. When I take 2, 4 out, it's going to be negative 2 plus or minus 2 times root 2 divided by 2, 2, 2 gets cancelled, giving me negative 1 plus or minus root of 2. So you can very well in, in place of 22.5 degrees you can also take pi over 8. It's okay. So let me just write this down. Tan pi over 8 is equal to negative 1 plus root 2 and in this case tan 22.5 which is also tan pi over 8 so it's going to be negative 1 negative root 2 Right, so this is what you've got. 
Now clearly you can see that if you were to take pi over 8, pi over 8 is nothing but 22.5 degrees. So that is actually present in the first uh, quadrant, right? So in the first quadrant, all, all ratios are positive, okay? So that would mean this is not possible. Band 22.5 cannot get a negative value owing to the fact that it is present in the first quadrant. So this would mean our tan pi over 8 is root of 2 negative 1 or tan 22.5 degrees is equal to root of 2 negative 1. So this is the solution for this question. Students and I hope you enjoyed this question.